In Unit 4, we will address footnote referencing. This unit is divided into four sections. Section 1. Major styles and rules. In contrast to parenthetical referencing within the text, the footnote reference is placed, as its name implies, at the bottom of the text page. The footnote referencing system includes two options, which, however, are not supposed to be mixed within a research paper. Option 1. The footnote provides full information, as will be explained in detail in the following slides. Option 2. The footnote contains abridged information. In this case, the wording of the footnote is similar to that of the author date method or author title method. Please note the difference between footnotes and endnotes. Footnotes appear at the bottom of a page, whereas endnotes appear at the end of the text. Endnotes are common in humanities. The footnote containing full information is written as in the following example. The footnote with abridged information is stated as follows. Repetitive citations taken from the same source are referenced by the abbreviation IBIT, as shown in the following example. Footnote number 2 indicates that the citation refers to the same source, but a different page. Footnote number 3 indicates that the citation refers to the same source and the same page. Section 2. Structure, Bibliography or List of References This is an example of a structured bibliography usually required by the footnote system. Structural elements can be monographs, articles in journals, working papers, etc. Please note that other style guides or rules, for example ISO 691 of the International Organization for Standardization, may require additional information. For example, a book identification classifier such as ISSN, the International Standard Serial Number, that will typically be omitted in academic research projects. Section 3. Advantages and Disadvantages One of the main advantages of footnote referencing is that it does not distract the flow of reading. Furthermore, especially with full information footnotes, the whole information about the source is immediately available at the bottom of the page. Additionally, it is informative for readers who are not familiar with cited sources. Furthermore, it provides additional space for a further discussion of the cited source and own comments. Also, advantageous, footnote referencing allows for a structured bibliography or list of references. A disadvantage of footnote referencing is the fact that it is rather time-consuming during the writing process. Besides, it takes up more space than parenthetical referencing due to page formatting and therefore it might shorten the core text. This is a potential problem in case of a restricted length of the main body. Section 4. Commonly used abbreviations and terms. The following slides list commonly used abbreviations and their Latin and or English meaning. 